students how are you i hope all of you are fit and fine today we are going to start with the new chapter safety first which is chapter number 3 of living science class 4 and here we will be discussing question and answers from the exercise so let us immediately start so let us start with question number a which is tick the correct answer and in that the first question is to avoid tripping over scattered toys the options are do not leave your toys lying on the floor leave your toys on the floor leave your toys inside the kitchen so what is the correct answer the correct answer is do not leave your toys lying on the floor so option a is correct let us move on to the next question question number 2 one must not wear these clothes in the kitchen the options are cotton synthetic woolen so what is the correct answer so what is the correct answer the correct answer is synthetic we should not wear synthetic clothes in kitchen why because synthetic clothes catches fire immediately okay so that's why we should avoid wearing synthetic clothes in kitchen the third question is stay away from options are table fans rides toys so what is the correct answer the correct answer is table fan table fan is a electric device and there are chances that if you touch it anywhere at the back it might give you an electric shock which is quite hazardous okay so that's why we should avoid touching the table fans let us move on to the next question apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream on the affected part if the options are bitten by an insect bone is broken someone gets a cut so what is the correct answer the correct answer is bitten by insect when a person gets bitten by an insect he should apply paste of baking soda and cold cream because it gives him a immediate relief let us move on to question number 5 to reach for something placed high use a dash the options are rope ladder stick so the correct answer is ladder okay we should always use ladder if you want to reach for something which is placed high let us move on to the next question so here we have our next question which is match the following in column a we have first floors second electric appliances third use a swimming tube fourth an antiseptic lotion fifth for burns in column b we have a plan antiseptic cream on affected area b must be kept dry to prevent slipping on them c should be handled carefully d if you are not an expert swimmer and e is must be used to clean cuts now let us see the answers so the correct answer for floor is must be kept dry to prevent slipping on them which is option number b then correct match for second electric appliances is c should be handled carefully then correct match for third using a swimming tube the answer is d if you are not an expert swimmer then fourth an antiseptic lotion matches with e must be used to clean cuts and five for burns matches with a which is a plan antiseptic cream on affected area okay so that was answer for match the following now let us move on to the next question which is short answer questions and in that the first one is when do accidents happen in the school the answer is in school accidents can happen when children run and push each other so we should not run and push each other so that we don't meet up with an accident okay so this generally happens in schools then second question what precaution should you take to avoid accidental consumption of poisonous chemicals here you will write poisoning chemicals should be properly labeled and kept away from e tables to avoid accidental consumption of poisoning chemicals okay third question what is first aid here you will write first aid is a medical help given to an injured or a sick person before proper medical aid arrives what is the meaning of aid the meaning of aid is help so before proper medical help arrives we need to give some urgent medical help to a injured or a sick person which is called as first aid 
Fourth question. Write about two common emergencies where you need first aid. Here you will write common emergencies that need first aid are minor cuts, fainting, insect bites, snake bites, burns. Okay, so these are some common emergencies where you need to give first aid to a person. Students, let us start with the next question which is answer the following questions. Here the first question is what precaution should you take to avoid accidents at school? Here you will write. In schools, accidents can happen when children run and push each other. Second point, you will mention, we can avoid such accident by following rules. Students should not rush up and down the stairs. Fourth point, students should not climb on desk and chair or throw things around. Okay, so these are the things that children should follow. Okay, they should not push each other. They should not run. They should not climb up and down the stairs frequently. While climbing, they rush and people or students might fall. Okay, so that should be avoided. And then we should not climb on desk and chairs or throw things around. Second question, as a pedestrian, what will you do to avoid getting hurt on the road? Here you will write, first point, following traffic rules for your own safety and the safety of others. Then carelessness on the road can cause accidents. Third point you will write, to avoid such accident one must walk on the footpath, cross the road only at zebra crossing, look to your right, then to your left and then to your right again, cross the road when traffic stops. And last point you will write, one should not rush and to avoid rush, start out in time. So these are few points which a pedestrian should follow so that he can avoid accidents on road. Let us move on to the next question. Third question. How will you help a person who has a bleeding wound? Here you will write. First point. In case of minor wounds, we should first wash the cut with water. Then, then apply antiseptic lotion over it. If there is bleeding from the cut, apply bandage over it. Dirt and flies should not allowed to sit on the wound as it may cause infection. Consult doctor immediately. So these are few steps that should be taken by a person who is bleeding. Okay. Let us move on to the next question which is how will you help a person who has fainted? Here you will write first point if person faints make him lie down with his head at a level lower than a body. This helps the blood to reach the brain faster. Allow fresh air around the person. Loosen his clothes and sprinkle cold water on his forehead. Let the person rest quietly. And lastly, you have to call a doctor. Okay, so these are few points that should be done when a person has fainted. Let us see question number 5. How will you help a person who has been bitten by an insect? Here you will write. Insect bites or stings are painful. If bitten by an insect like a bee or a wasp, apply a pest of baking soda and cold cream on the affected part to give relief. And lastly, put some ice on affected part. This will give a person who has been bitten by an insect a relief. So students, if you have any question, feel free to ask. You can put your questions in comment box. And thank you for attending this session. See you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.